Starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You're listening to the New Investor Podcast. For me, financial freedom is actually being able to live off what you your net worth and uh, feeling safe and feeling that you're able to have immediate liquidity if you need to tackle any kind of issue that you may face during your life or uh, being able to do an investment, open your own business at a certain period of time in your life. There's plenty of things that come into play. Certainly don't want to uh, just lay on a beach and, and, and just uh, think that passive income exists. Uh, it doesn't. It takes time to get there, as we all know always keep cash on hand. It will be up to you to determine the proportion of your savings kept aside in the event of a large negative stock market fluctuation so you have the buying power to purchase discounted stocks of the companies in your portfolio or the ones you are keeping an eye on. You need to change your attitude towards money and how you spend your money. To do that, you need to be able to track your expenses and you need to be able to set a few budgets so that you know exactly where you stand. But how I do it is that I set my budget for the whole year, months by months. Now, it doesn't matter how much you make. It doesn't matter uh, how much you can save. The important is you should save and invest with the money you save if you get a promotion and you get a higher salary, do not increase your expenses in proportion of your salary increase. On the contrary, keep your expenses as they were and whatever you make more, reinvest it immediately into your brokerage account. Let's talk about the tools that support me in my journey towards financial freedom. Please note that I receive no compensation from these guys. This is your step-by-step -step toolbox right here. You need to start, as I mentioned before, by downloading the Pocket Expense Pro app. This will allow you to budget and also keep track of your expenses. It will show you, once you have populated the app with your data, exactly where you stand in terms of your evolution of your net worth, your cash flow position, your income, your expenses, etc. More importantly, once you have done the exercise for the whole year like me, it will give you your objective at year end. So it is a highly recommended app. After that, once you have determined uh, how much uh, money you can save and invest, open a brokerage account and open it with Saxo Capital Markets. This is the one I use. Actually, it's based out of Singapore. It has a solid reputation. You can research this online and ask around about them first. But they have a user-friendly investing platform allowing you to invest in stocks, bonds, commodities, etc. However, I only look at stocks uh, as far as I'm concerned. Their platform is user-friendly, uh, which is important to the new investor and also gives you news and insights from their team of experts if ever they're relevant to you. Now, their commission base is $3.99 per, per transaction, which is very reasonable. So I highly recommend you to open your account with them. And they also have an app that you can use on the go on your phone on or tablet. So it's pretty useful. Another app after that is Yahoo Finance. Great source of news and information. They also have a, a detailed data on each listed companies. So once you have taken the previous steps uh, before of making your budget, opening your brokerage account, it will be time to enter your holdings in that app to track your stock and portfolio performance. Now, the app will also give you real-time stock movement when markets are open with a delay. Now, we are not traders, right? So we're long-term investors, so we do not mind the daily fluctuations, so it works just fine with a delay. Again, highly recommended. Another app called Seeking Alpha. I really love this app. It is a great source of information as it is a platform which contains daily articles written by experts, but also by regular investors like you or me who are sharing their analysis of the market and of your stocks. So once you've entered your holdings into the app, it will feed you targeted news and articles on the companies you have invested in. Now, great source of information, allowing you as well to form your own opinion as the information you receive is usually unbiased. Other apps that I highly recommend is News360 and Google News. 
Now, I highly recommend you to download these apps as you can customize your news feed to send you only information you're actually interested in. Now, apart from your hobbies, you can customize it to feed you mainstream information on the company, CEO, product, analysis of all kinds, and articles targeted onto the companies you actually have invested in. So this will allow you to form your own opinion again and stay informed on the companies and industries you are aiming at investing into. So I believe the most important burden to tackle as of today is to review your lifestyle, uh, clear outstanding debts and start investing that extra cash. Now easier said than done for sure but we all know the meaning of working hard and I am sure you can put the same level of efforts and commitments you pour out daily at your workplace into making sure you start rebalancing your finances and create wealth today. Once again, I only had $2,600 on the 30th of January 2018 and you will witness through this journey that I will reach my objective through discipline and hard work. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I really hope that it brings you some additional support on your own journey towards financial freedom. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss an episode and looking forward to your DM and follow on Instagram at New Investor Podcast. In the meantime, stay invested, be patient and keep playing the long-term game.